Welcome to the Alpha Girl Confidence Podcast, where we are empowering youth female athletes to play and live confidently. My name is Shay Hatto, and each week I will bring you new episodes to teach you the strategies and tools that you need in order to live a confident, empowered life both on and off the playing field. Hey, welcome back to the show. So on today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to deal with clicky teammates. So a lot of us in our either past or either present have probably dealt with teammates and teams that have a lot of clicks. And I'm sure you have the same experience as me that when your team has a lot of clicks, you don't perform as well as a team. Therefore, you're not going to achieve your team goals or your personal goals, right? But when your team is one cohesive unit, everything is a lot more fun and everything runs a lot smoother. So whether you have like whether you're in a click right now and you're kind of the leader of that click or whether you're trying to kind of insert yourself into your team click and make it disappear or just just have a better team culture, this episode is for you. So like I said, the more clicky your team is, the harder it's going to be for you guys to perform on the field. I may I know you may not believe me, but trust me, I've had experience on both sides. And not only is it not nearly as fun to be on a team with clicks, but you're not going to perform as well. Because when you have clicks, you don't really feel like a family. And if you feel like a family with your teammates and your your team is all jiving together, you guys are not only going to fight for yourselves, but you're going to fight for your teammates. And that is extremely powerful. Okay, so if you have clicky teammates and you're, let's say, one of the outsiders, I'm having air quotes up if if you're listening to this and not watching it. If you're an outsider, right, here are a few things you can do to deal with those clicky teammates in order to, you know, have more of that like cohesive team environment. Number one is to have a communication, have a conversation with the captain or the, the leaders of the team. And if that's you, then bring together some of the other leaders of the team and have a, a conversation about what, what can we do as leaders of the team in order to bring our team closer together. Okay, so if you're new to a team, I know it's especially hard because you're coming into like a, a new environment, you're trying to prove yourself, you're trying to get new friends, so it's really hard as a new person of a team. Okay, so if you're new or if you're struggling to like feel like you belong, Go, go to one of your captains and tell them how you feel and try to have a conversation about how you as a team can better, like have better team chemistry. So number one, communicate with the team captain, with the leaders. Number two, if that doesn't work, then you need to have a commu- have like a, a whole team meeting. So get every single person on the team, get the coaches involved and have a team meeting. And this is something that you should probably do anyways on like a regular basis is have team meetings, especially as with a girls team, there's always a lot of drama going on. There's going to be a lot of things that are going on where you may need to have a team meeting. So in this team meeting, discuss the importance of playing as a team, eliminating these clicks, have, have the players that are in a click, learn about the players that aren't in their click, like get outside of your comfort zone and make friends and get to know your other teammates on a deep level. And number three, if those two things don't work, if your team meeting doesn't work and you're not getting any traction with the captains or you're not getting any traction with the coaches, here's my advice. And I'm not saying it's the right advice, but here's my advice is to just keep doing you and don't waste any extra energy trying to insert yourself into the click of the team. If they don't like you for who you are, then don't waste your time and energy trying to get them to like you because you deserve to be with people who want to be with you and who want to hang out with you and who want to bring you on. Right. And if it's really bad to where it's a bad environment and like a bully environment, a mean girl environment, find a new team. Like, I know that's not always easy, but if you're in an environment that's hurting your confidence and you've tried and tried and tried and still nothing has worked, find a new team, right? Like I have a player who is kind of in the situation right now, but she is just like, I'm just going to do me. I'm going to respect the players on my team. I'm going to be nice to them. I'm going to say hi to them. I'm going to talk to them, but I'm not going to waste any extra energy or go out of my way to try to be their friends if they don't want to be my friend. 
So I know, like I said, that may not be the right advice. I don't know if there is right or wrong advice when it comes to this, but those are three things that I would suggest you do if you're dealing with clicky teammates. So again, number one is to just have communication with the team leaders, with the captain and talk about the dynamics of the team. Number two is to have a whole team meeting with every single player and the coaches and talk about the importance of team chemistry, talk about what's going wrong in your team chemistry and how you guys can build it up. Number three, if that stuff doesn't work, just keep doing you, keep working your butt off, be a good teammate, get through it. And if it's really bad, find a new team. So I hope this episode helped you. If you're going through some stuff with teammates that you're finding difficult to navigate, let me know. I'm here to help. Send me a message on Instagram at Shay Hatto. And I would love to see how I can help you on more of an individual level. And if you're a parent watching this, check out my free Facebook group for parents of female athletes, where I do live trainings every single week on topics like this and other topics that are going to help your daughter be successful and become more confident. The link will be in the show notes below. All right. Thanks for listening to this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped and I will see you on next week's episode. See ya.